On May 10, 2025, in the early hours of Saturday morning, reports confirmed what had only been speculated for years. India's most advanced cruise missile, the Brahmos, was likely used in a series of precision strikes on key military bases in Pakistan. Targets included air bases in Rafiki, Murid, Nur Khan and Sargoda. Significant damage was also reported in strategic locations like Sukkar, Rahim Yar Khan and Chunian. So what is the Brahmos? Brahmos is a supersonic cruise missile system, the fastest of its kind in India's arsenal as of 2025. Co-developed by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, or DRDO, and Russia's NPO Mashinostroenia, the name Brahmos comes from two rivers, the Brahmaputra in India and the Moskva in Russia. First tested in 2001, the missile has come a long way in speed, precision and firepower. It operates on a fire-and-forget principle. Once launched, it doesn't need guidance. It travels faster than the speed of sound and is nearly impossible to intercept. The missile is powered by a two-stage propulsion system. The first stage, a solid-fuel booster, takes it airborne. The second, a liquid-fueled ramjet engine, cruises the missile at supersonic speeds. Its low radar signature, pinpoint accuracy and sheer velocity make it a nightmare for enemy defences. And it can be launched from land, sea, air and even from submarines. On May 10th, Brahmos was reportedly used in Operation Sindor, a bold and calculated move by the Indian military. While official confirmations remain classified, Indian Express and other credible sources suggest that multiple Brahmos missiles struck critical Pakistani airbases such as Skardu, Bolari, Jakobabad and Sargoda, severely disrupting their operational capabilities. This marks one of the first known instances of the Brahmos being deployed in live combat. Developing such a powerful weapon wasn't cheap. The Brahmos project was launched in 1998 with a capital investment of $250 million, over rupees 2135 crore in today's terms. India owns 50.5% of the joint venture while Russia holds 49.5%. Though the actual development cost remains classified, each missile reportedly costs about rupees 34 crore, with rupees 300 crore required to set up each production unit. The first missile was launched on June 12, 2001. It was commissioned by the Indian Navy in 2005, followed by the Indian Army in 2007. Later, an air-launched version was integrated with the Sukhoi 30MKI fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, significantly enhancing India's aerial strike capability. Today, Brahmos can be fired from air, land, sea, and even under the sea giving India true multi-domain strike capabilities. Currently, two main Brahmos variants are in service, the Block Y and the air-launched version. But that's just the beginning. Three more powerful versions are under development. Brahmos Extended Range, with a reach of up to 1,500 kilometers. Brahmos 2 Hypersonic, cruising at a jaw-dropping Mark 8. Brahmos NG Next Generation, a compact version deployable across all platforms. These advances will solidify Brahmos as one of the most versatile and lethal weapons in the world. India isn't just building Brahmos for itself, it's exporting it too. The Brahmos missile is fast becoming a symbol of India's growing defence export capability and a critical tool in regional diplomacy. From its humble beginnings in 1998 to striking enemy positions in 2025, Brahmos represents India's strategic edge in modern warfare. With hypersonic variants, growing global demand and advanced indigenous production, Brahmos is not just a missile, it's a message. Fast, accurate, unstoppable.